All right, Velvet Revolver. She builds quick machines. This is drop D tuning, CBT guitar lesson for Alan. Alan always picks some killer songs. Slash is tearing it up in here, some killer grooves. Um, you're going to have a lot of fun with this. So uh, what do you say we jump right in? Let's go. <laughs> through the first uh, couple parts of that intro zero seconds in low gain more so on this um at the very beginning um it's all top two strings same frettings power chords in this drop d tuning 10 12 open 10 12 pull open so and take it in chunks like that if you have to um just lower this down a little bit Okay, so then go 10, 12. I would look at that as the mid middle point. So then a little tricky, go nines. You're going to go 9, 12, open 9. And then we got to jump way over here to the third fret, E and A, and pull off to opens twice. If you're not used to pulling off two strings, it can be a little tricky. Just make sure you're not over this in essence becomes your pick whenever you're doing a pull off if you think of it like that you should get the volume you need for the for the riff all right so slow or moderate tempo we got four times of that and then 13 seconds in section 1a it's the same thing minus the pull off from 12s to open um, and it goes four times and you'll have this so up your volume what i would do the most simplest way is on the intro four times back your volume to where it's clean mixed with dirt and then turn the volume up for this and just of a tricky riff but um you'll get it because uh the cbts you've had me do you'll be just fine this part's got a killer groove section 1b 26 seconds in on the a string single note melody three five three five three five two five and then go 2a to 3d pull open twice do that eight times I'll do a few of them once in a while he'll throw in like a like a when you get to the three five two five le leading into it like a down up mute on the string but uh, it's up to you Anyways, goes from there into section 1C at 52 seconds in. Something about this part, man, sounds epic to me. I hear a little bit of, uh, um, who is it, Frank Mahogany, Mahogany Rush, for some reason. But there's an overdub guitar that, that's real simple that just really creates a feel. But here's what it does. Um, and then... So you'll go 7EA to 5EA, and then hammer to 7E, there's kind of a pause, and then jump up to 10, a little slide off, and then 3-5EA, and then all single notes, 3-5-7 to 5A. Really cool part. Ah. Then, 
kind of starts it over. Seven to five. To the ten. And then it'll be all D and A string. Three, five, three, five, seven, open. Two times, second time, no star. So you'll go back. Then, then it'll go. And then right here. Let's see. Yeah. Threes to fives on the E and A. And now you'll see it at a minute and three after the double dots. That's the three five. Then section one D, a minute four in. Now this is crazy. I have to work on it a little bit to get it up to tempo. I'm pretty sure Slash is doing all this together. It's like the beginning, but it's tens hammered to twelves on the E and A. And then go opens and then ten twelve again. And then tenth fret E and B. And then go 10, 12, 9, 12. That's all E and A. Oops. 10 uh, on the E and B again. Oops. And then back to 9 on E A. And then the 3 pull open twice at the end. Just wild. I thought that's got to be at first another guitar just going. But I did a little research, and I'm pretty sure Slash is doing all that. So, I would go for it that way. Top of page three, a minute 17 in. Now, here's what happens. You got section 1B four times, fourth time, no star. 1B is the... So it does that four times, fourth time no star, instead of where the star is, you'll go, instead of going, you'll go, so in other words, little things like that. And then a minute 30, same thing again, no star, instead it's this, so nothing changes. Minute 43, section 1C played the same. Section 1A, four times, fourth time, no star. In place of that, at 209, we have third fret EA to open EA. Let it ring. And then section uh, 2A, 216, and we're dealing with some octaves here. 3A, muted D, 5G. You'll slide it up a whole step. Strum it, slide to 10, and back to 9. Oops. Then 7s twice, slide to 9, 11. And do that three times. Oops. That goes three times. Let me go to 216. Here we go. Right here. It's 215. There it is. That's the feel of it. Three times. And then 235 in, 911, you're already there. Slide to 10, back to 9. And then 10, slide to 12. 12 to 15. 15 to 17. And then 242, you're back to this part. 3, slide to 5. Still octaves. So it's more of a gliss slide. And then slide off, and then 2, 4 to 3, 5. So it's... 5, 7, again, slide to 12, 14, 15, 17, strum it, slide the whole step up, and then 19th fret, which is the higher note off that last octave, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, so it's 10 times, 
then slowly bend it as you go. 256 comes in, you got this. Third fret E and A. So it's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, pull off to open. And then fifth fret, same beat. With four strums at the end of it. And that's gonna go two times. So let me play that so you can hear it in context. Pull 7 E, 8 B, 7 G. This is a solo at 307. Okay, top of page 4. 8 on the B, bend, release, pull to 6, and go to 7 G. Then you'll see double dots. You'll do that again, but the 7 G will pull off to a 5, and you'll do that 4 times. So it sounds like this. That's cool. Then you go back for another one, but just do the bend, release, pull. And then bend, hold. Hit the 8E. And then another bend, release, pull to 6. And do that again. Okay, the next little run goes like this. Cool run. Let me speed it up a little bit for you though. So, oops. Oops. And then when you get to the double dot section, it's three or six times of three pull open D and then down up five three A. And it's quick though, so he's going like. But the whole run's fast. I mean, he's. You'll have to memorize it, but like. They're... Then 3D, two bends. Rele and hold, release, pull open, go 3A. And then at 319, we're going to go 5D, pick. Bend, release, pull to three, and then pull five, three, and then down up five, three, A. I think that's two times at 319. I need to check, though, because uh, it might be more. All right, here's 318. Here's the riff. Oh, it's two times. That's it. Then you'll go f on the D string, five slide seven, five slide seven, and then nine pull seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, G, D, G. So you have. Ten pull seven G. Eight B. 7G. And then 10th uh, fret G and B. Index bend. 12 pull 10 D, 12 A, 10 12 D, vibrato rest. And then 10 12 D A. 323 timestamp, we got this. Play that again. And I'll do it one more time a little quicker. Then we have this 10, 13, 12, 13, EB, EB. Then back to the 10, hammer 12, pull 10, and then 13, 10, 13, B, E, B. Bend the 13B, 
and then the tin E. And then, or actually, yeah. Slow down. Then we got this middle 12G, slide to 14. 13B, 14G, 15E bend, hold, pick, release, pull 13, then, so it's, Three thirty one timestamp is this. Oops. And that's the end of it. It's such a cool run, man. If you go from three thirty one at fourteen G middle finger, here's what it sounds like. Step and a half. Two halves. Or actually bend. Hit it, release, pull. And one more time. Yeah, do it one more time. And that's it. The rest is repeats at 335, section 1C, and section 1A. Awesome, awesome song, man.